Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit random. I'm actually not sure who's interested in watching this video, but I recently bought the Glossier Brow Flick off of their website because I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this ad. They get me every time. Every time. I saw this ad that popped up and it was like a Glossier ad and the girl was like using the brow flick and she was creating these like amazing little strokes and her brows were looking so feathery. I was so intrigued that I ran to the, to the Glossier website and this isn't necessarily uh, something new. I think Kat Von D has something like this. Maybe even Too Faced? I'm not sure. I've seen several brands do this whole brow marker situation where it's honestly a felt tip and it comes out just like it's a liquid liner. Crazy. And you're just supposed to create little, little simple skinny little strokes to mimic the look of hair. And it's supposed to give you that full brow look, which you know I love. And to be honest, I was so intrigued by this because I have always wanted really bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Every time I see someone, like my friend Gabby, for example, or Jordan, I don't know if you guys know Jordan from ColourPop, you know, Jordan Wynn. Every time I look at their eyebrows, they're so bushy naturally and amazing. They don't need to fill in their brows with anything. I have to. I have to do my eyebrows every single day because if not, I feel like I look like a naked mole rat. Like, look at me. I feel like an alien when I don't have my eyebrows on. So I've always wanted that bushy look. And even though I go super feathery and bold with my brows every Every single day you can tell that I have like brow product on you can tell that there's a powder or a brow pencil but I've always wanted the look of like having actual hairs like a lot of hair <laughs> this video is so weird and when I saw this ad on Instagram I was like oh my gosh can that give me the feathery brow look? Maybe, I don't know so I picked it up and I've actually been using this for about two weeks now and <sighs> It's a struggle, okay. The first day I used this, my brows looked disgusting. I mean, I'll go into more detail when I start applying this to my brows, but it was really hard for me to use the first time because I was applying too much pressure on my brows and they were looking really fat. Like it didn't actually look like tiny little hairs. It looked like I got a fat marker and just started drawing on my brows. It was a disaster. And the tricky thing about this formula is that it dries really, really quickly. And once it dries, it doesn't go anywhere. This sets in place and you will have this on your brows the entire day. I mean, honestly, this is the most long wearing product I've ever put in my brows. It lasts way longer than my brow whiz from Anastasia or any other brow pencil I've used. This is like almost permanent. I mean, not really. It washes off, but you have to actually wash it off. I don't get any fading when I use this, but I truly feel like I cannot get the hang of this. And that's kind of why I am filming this video. I just want to show you what it looks like in my brows. Okay. So I've zoomed you in and I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with the Glossier brow flick. My biggest struggle when using this as opposed to using a brow is, is that I cannot get my brows to match exactly with a product like this. I feel like this would only work if your brows are the exact same because you cannot build a shape with this. You could only make like little strokes. Well, actually maybe you can. Maybe I'm just an amateur and I haven't gotten the hang of this yet, but I kind of struggle to get them to. Let me just get started. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see it's like a felt tip and I'm in the shade brown and I have noticed the trick for this is to apply a super, super light pressure and to apply it directly like this. Like don't do this because then you'll get really fat brush strokes. You need to go like this. Oh, that one got fat. But do you see what I mean? See the difference? I'm showing you on my forehead so you can really see it, but basically not like this, like this. And even then I feel like sometimes it's hard to get really skinny lines. <sighs> I always start in the front. Ah, see, okay. <laughs> you have to do it right away, but if you feel like you applied too much pressure, I find that tapping it in kind of softens that harsh line. As you can see, but you have to tap it in right away. And then I feel like it's easier to blend in. I didn't know that little trick the first time I used this. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so this is the Glossier Brow Flick on my left eyebrow, and I'd love to know what you guys think. Like I said, it's really hard for me to get my perfect shape because normally I would grab my brow wiz and kind of draw the arch and kind of round it out. But like I said, with this, you can't do that. It's meant just for, you know, drawing little hair strokes. Let me take my spoolie and brush it up. See, I like it. I like that it looks like natural brow hairs, but I don't like that there are dark spots in between my brows, like where I initially put down the pen. I don't, I don't love that. Do you see what I mean? I have a few little dark spots all throughout the brow. I would say that is a major con for me and the fact that I can't shape it. But you know what, really quickly, I'm gonna do this brow and we'll compare. See, like I struggle on this eyebrow a lot in this area because I have a really big bald spot here and every time I do my brows, I just draw it. But with this, it's really, really hard to do that. I try to make like little tiny strokes to kind of give the illusion that it's fuller there at the top, but it's not my best work. All right, so this is what my brows look like now. And as you can see, they're not they're not the same. This one definitely has more of an arch, but that could also be that my brow hairs are just like really long on this side. But yeah, what do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? Honestly, I feel like they look pretty good from far away, but then if you get up close to my brows, not the best. You can definitely see those harsh strokes that I was telling you guys about, but I don't hate it. I feel like if I practice a lot more, I feel like maybe I can get it down. I'm just really bad at it. But do you guys feel like it looks like hair or does it look like I went in with a brow whiz to create these strokes? Because if that's the case, I'd rather use my brow whiz since it's easier for me to use. What do you guys think? Like, is this something that I could possibly perfect with practice? Or are you guys like, mm, I'm not feeling it, it looks weird. Let me know in the comments. I actually think it looks pretty real from far away and this is definitely something that I can get away with just like throwing on my brows and going out the door and not worrying about it fading it's such a long wear like look at this I mean with a lot of pressure it'll come off but it's on there good like it's really on there good I don't know I'm seriously on the fence with this I don't like how my brows look up close but I like how they look from far away but then I don't like that I can't get them exactly the same I feel like I hate this but then maybe I don't. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but no, I don't have Libra in my chart. You would think I do, but I don't. I just truly really don't know how I feel. I want you guys to tell me how I feel. <laughs> I mean, for sure, the first time I used it, it was a major flop. I honestly think that professional eyebrowers can use this because I cannot get the art down. Like I can't get the technique down. It still looks fat and thick in certain areas. Like if I have really large hair follicles, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm gonna see how this looks with the Glossier Boy Brow on top because I don't have any brow gel in my hairs and I love brow gel, you know, I use it every day. So let's see, maybe this will help blend things. Whoa, that got real feathery real fast. Let me just like lay them down a little bit so they don't look too crazy. Hmm, okay, so I feel like this does help blend things out a bit, like those harsh strokes, but when I was brushing it on top of this area, let me zoom you in. You can't really see it anymore because when I applied this gel, it kind of took it away. But I had applied very thin little brush strokes right here in this area. You can kind of see the gray shadow where there's still a little bit left because I wanted to match this brow and give it like this rounded look. But the gel kind of removed it a bit. Now this one is like angled and this one is rounded, but it did help. Wow, with this brow cocktail, I feel like my brows aren't going anywhere. I don't think the Glossier Boy Brow is as good as my Nude Sticks Brow Gel. Obviously, they're completely different. This one has like the little fibers and it comes in color. But in terms of keeping them in place all day, this one sets my brows and they stay feathery for hours and hours and hours and hours. This one does fall throughout the day a little bit. It's kind of shocking because whenever I do my brows, I always use some sort of brow pencil. I'm not a brow pomade kind of girl because I really like the look of hair. I don't like a super structured brow. So it's so weird seeing my brows like this without using a pencil. But anyway, let me go finish up my makeup really quick. I'm not gonna do much, but I will be right back so we can wrap up this video. Okay, I'm back. 
If you're wondering what's on my face, I will leave that in the description box like I always do. But basically, as I was doing my makeup, I was analyzing my brows and like really looking at them. I was grabbing the mirror and like putting it really close to my face. I was trying to examine them. And honestly, I don't hate them. <laughs> like I said, I feel like I'll go back and forth. I think like with the rest of my makeup, my brows look pretty good. They're a little bold. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the times my brows look sloppy. Well, I like to call it effortless. Because I tend to like a brow that's a little messy. But I worry that these brows specifically look a little too messy. I just don't think the brow hairs, like the strokes, look that natural. I think it looks very obvious that I tried to make my brows look thicker. Like I don't think the brush hairs I drew look like brush hairs, except maybe these in the front. Right here, these lines, those are not hairs. That's the actual Glossier product. Like you can see when I push my hair out of the way, that's the brow flick. So like I said, you can get it to look really real. I'm just struggling with that. You have to be so careful and so, so precise. So that leads me to how I'm feeling right now, which is on the fence. Do I think this is interesting? Yes. Do I think this is really cool and different and unique? Yes, yes, yes. But do I think it's user friendly? Not really. Do I think it's a little hard to use? Yes, it's hard to work with. Do I 100% recommend it? I don't know. I feel like that's gonna be up for you guys to decide. This is an $18 product, so not super, super, super high end, but not cheap by any means. Not cheap and this product actually only comes in three shades which is not terrible you get blonde brown and black but obviously hair comes in so many shades I feel like three is not enough maybe they'll expand in the future maybe they were just testing this out or only launching three shades at first but I don't know man it's like half of me really really likes this and the other half of me thinks it might not be worth it I don't think I take longer using this I feel like it takes me the same amount of time to do my brows with the brow whiz as it, as it does with this I feel like if I did eventually get the hang of this this might be faster and easier but I guess I just have to practice more you know what would be amazing if they came out with another one that was even thinner than this I don't know if everybody feels that way but even like a thinner felt tip would be super super helpful like the thinnest they can go I feel like would probably mimic hair a little bit better than this I just I need to practice more like I'm looking on the Glossier website they're showing this photo of this is her brows without the brow flick and then this is her brows with the brow flick how can my brows look like that with the brow flick that looks like powder to me like that precision right here underneath I feel like it's so hard to create with this brow flick but I could just be like not doing it right <laughs> I need to practice more. Right now, I'm gonna give this 3.5 out of five lightning bolts. I was gonna give it four lightning bolts because the only issue I have with this is that it's kind of hard to use, but I feel like that's a big issue and that plays a huge role in how my brows look at the end of this. You know what I mean? So I would say that's a major con, but I do love everything else about it. So that is why I'm giving it almost for lightning bolts. But anyway, I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm really gonna try to perfect this. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like my brows better with the brow is? Do you think this looks too funky, too harsh? What do you, just tell me what you think. <laughs> but that completes this video, guys. I hope it wasn't too random. I hope this video helped someone. Maybe somebody wanted to find a video like this on YouTube. Maybe you were on a Glossier brow search and you stumbled across this video and I hope maybe it was helpful. I would say that this was a hit-ish. Like if this was a hit or miss video, this product was a hit-ish. But yeah, guys, like I said, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Creating these ama- But do I-